What up, world? It's your man, LR. <laughs> Join a 73-degree day in February in good old North Texas. But uh, anyway, I ain't here to gloat about our wonderful weather. Especially. But it do feel that way because I just got back from Chicago. Uh, for those that don't know, my, uh, my old man passed uh, right before New Year's on the 29th of December. So I basically ran up to Chicago right after the New Year. Had to take care of a whole bunch of shit and stuff like that. And, uh, that's what prompted this message. Uh, elderly parents, man. Because now I have one. But uh, it's a lot of stuff that, you know, I wasn't necessarily prepared for in dealing with elderly parents and things like that. And one of those things is, you know, as they start slipping mentally, not physically so much, but mentally where, you know, they're getting forgetful, they're not remembering things, they're not taking care of their business like they should. You have to be willing to step in and sometimes you got to be willing to step in sometimes despite their feelings because at the end of the day you know they've been used to doing everything all their lives and then it comes to a point where you know they really can't do it no more but a lot of times that pride won't make them admit that they can't do it anymore and sometimes you got to see it you know what I'm saying in my dad's case I I saw it little by little but you know I was listening to him taking his word for certain things and then when I got to see for myself, I saw things wasn't what he was saying they were. And then I was trying to step up and help him as much as I can and do things. And, you know, was giving him the idea, you know, maybe it might be time for, you know, come stay with us or whatever. Because I'm not going to leave you out there where you had one of these senior homes where they be mistreating folks and all that shit. Nah, I ain't, I ain't about to do that. that. That shit is bullshit, you know. I'm like, you know, Asian and African cultures and stuff like that where they bring the elders into the house and they take care of them because at the end of the day, they were taking care of you and brought you up. So, you know, my theory is that as you pass a certain point in life, you know, as an adult, you start becoming more childlike because, you know, you start not having the responsibilities and just your mental faculties become kind of childlike. So saying all this to say that, you know, Pay attention to your elderly parents if you have them, you know, so ask questions, you know. Sometimes the question might make them uncomfortable, it might get a little mad, that's okay. They can't whip your ass. <laughs> so, I mean, ask, because it's going to be for the betterment of them and the betterment for everything overall, for real, for real, you know. I might have been too, well, I ain't going to say might have been, I was too late in my dad's case, and, you know, it took me a while to kind of get through that, but, you know. I did, I did what I could, and I tried what I can, so that's all I can say. So, like I said, really, really check on your parents, check on your people if you really love them. I mean, if they, they shit face, you know, that's on you. But, you know, if they did right by you and did good by you, do right by them, all right? Till next time, two fingers. Your man, I love. Lord of our camp. GBA Studio. Oh,